Believe it or not, Doodling has gone 3D. Yes, that's right. Now I'm talking to Max from 3D Doodler. Max, what is going on here? So the 3D Doodler is the world's first 3D pen. Essentially, we took the extruder head off of a 3D printer and turned it into a pen. Uh, and it actually allows you to doodle up or vertically in the air, as well as flat. And we're doodling in plastic. So we have ABS or PLA plastic, and it allows you to create real physical objects. So for example, we have this biplane, which was completely doodled um, on flat pieces of paper, peeled off of the paper, and then it was joined together using the three doodler. Okay, let me, let me see if I get my head around this. Is this using the same type of plastic that we see in 3D printers? Yes, this is uh, PLA or ABS plastic, so we're using the same plastic you find in 3D printers. And actually, ABS is everywhere, so you find it in almost you know, your everyday life. And so if we use ABS plastic all the time, and plastic in general, why not be able to manipulate it and truly use it? Max, I gotta tell you, I was never really good at doodling. Uh, does it require a lot of skill to do something like this? So there's different ways of using the 3Doodler. If you're drawing in the air, starting from the paper and then moving up, it definitely requires skill and you need some artistic skill. Otherwise, you can use stencils that we have on our community site where you just print it out at your home printer and then you color in the lines and then peel it off of the paper and then join the pieces together, all using the 3Doodler, and then you can create really amazing three-dimensional structures. Is this on the market right now? So it was a Kickstarter product, uh, and we've shipped around 22,000 of the 25, 26,000 units that were pre-ordered on Kickstarter, and we should be finishing up our Kickstarter at the end of this month. Uh, we're also releasing it into stores so that people can actually just go into like Brookstones or ThinkGeek, and you can purchase. It's also on the MoMA store and in their catalog. Yeah, this is a totally a ThinkGeek product. Uh, is it catered toward adults or, or children? It's catered to adults. Uh, it has, I, you know, we recommend it as a 12 plus or 14 plus item. It's not a children's toy. The tip gets very, very hot. The plastic coming out of it is hot for about half a second or so. So you can actually, you know, you can touch the plastic as it's coming out, but if you mass it up, it'll, it'll burn you. So, you know, if you can use a hot glue gun or a soldering iron, you're probably okay using a three doodler, but it's definitely not a kid's item. Somebody out here is watching this going, I gotta have this. Where do they go for more information? For more information, you can visit our website, the3doodler.com, T-H-E, the number three, doodler.com. And you can pre-order. There's also our community site where you can freely upload or download stencils and then share them and print them out on your home printer. And then if you get a three-doodler, you can do that. You can also order a three-doodler there and more plastic. So we sell the plastic in a pack of 25 and a 10-inch strand will doodle for 100 inches. So it's a 10 to 1 ratio with the standard tip. So here at CES, we're actually launching our accessories now. We have uh, specialty tips, you know, ribbons and stars and stuff like that. We have what we're calling the doodle, um, oh man, the doodle stand. Yeah. Faraz, would you be so kind? So it's more than just a stand because it has buttons on it. If you put the three doodler in, you can use the buttons and then you move it around like a mouse which allows you to do a nice and easy uh, motion with it, and do some really fun stuff. The three doodler, this is pretty freaking amazing stuff. I think I'm gonna have to try it. It's been a while since I've been doodling. I've never done some 3D doodling, so if you'll excuse me, I think I'm gonna go draw something.